G'day, Josh back with another episode of Don't Mind the Grind. And as you can see here, Legends has arrived. In fact, I'm recording this episode pretty much straight after maintenance. So there will be a little bit of a time gap between me recording this and me dropping this as I did just drop Anthony Davis gameplay. So this will be coming out in 24 hours from me recording this, but uh, I just wanted to get my first experience with the live version of the Legends program caught on camera for you to see, to witness, and also just talk through some other things as well. Uh, and before we even jump into the Legends stuff, I just wanna jump into my team. This is what it looks like at the moment. Now that we've lost the Halloween boost, we're back to regular, so it's an 85 overall. But I did actually spend some time today uh, picking up players that I want for the upcoming uh, gameplay style lineup. So if you haven't already heard, theoretically in a few days but within a week I expect us to get three additional lineups added one for each of the gameplay styles so balanced defensive and shooting now you'll still have your NBA lineup and you'll be able to use for instance I've got defensive point guard Ben Simmons I'll be able to use him in this lineup and also in the defensive lineup so I'm going to just go through and put in the players that I've got for each uh, and I can't put clay in there because I've already got a clay there so I'm just going to sub in what uh, what players I picked up for each of those gameplay style lineups and give you guys a, an early preview of... Oh, that's the wrong clay. Give you guys an early preview of exactly what my lineups are going to look like with all of the gameplay specific players in there. Uh, so we'll sub in the defensive players first as I've currently got a defensive coach in there in Quinn Snyder. Um, I'll have Drummond as my starting center. So they won't be as quite... Well, the, the overall won't be quite as high as my NBA lineup, but they will be pretty decent. Uh, my bench point guard will be Dennis Smith Jr. Who else have we got to sub in here? Also got to put in Andre Robeson there. So I will have all elite lineups for all the positions, which is exciting. And finally, Tatum on my bench. So let's go out. This is what my defensive gameplay style lineup is going to look like. Starting five of Simmons, Thompson, Leonard, Gordon, and Drummond. And next we will do balance. Brett Brown as my coach. And let's sub in each of the balance players. I've actually got that rookies Michael Carter Williams there. I really like that card art. It looks so good. Then, of course, T Mac, one of my all time favorite NBA players in his magic uniform, which is a bonus. I've got that next gen Giannis Antetokounmpo. Then I've got Blake Griffin from the Elevate program. So there are a couple of higher overall free players that I was able to grind out, finish gr grinding for those recently. Got that DJ from the Offseason Movers program. I believe he was the first elite that I actually pulled from that program. Then, of course, I love that Ben Simmons, and there's not too many balanced point guards that are reasonably cheap at this point in time. We've also got that rookie's Jeff Green uh, on the bench. Then Robert Covington, big fan of his work as a fan of the Sixers in general. And go back, I don't know why that took so long to hit the back button. Then we've got Pau Gasol, another off-season movers card, although he didn't actually move in the last off-season. And finally, to finish off that lineup, we've got that Mobile Master Embiid. So that is a look at what my balanced gameplay style lineup is going to look like. And then finally, if we jump into shooting, um, I'm just going to actually oh, go back here. Okay, so let's, uh, what have we got here? We've got Westbrook from the Elevate program. I'll go position at a time this time around. Uh, Ooh, why? Ooh, there we go. I'm actually missing a shooting point guard. So we might go and pick one up from the auction house. We've got that Clay Thompson. And on the bench, you've got Latrell Sprewell. Both 84 overalls, which is quite nice. Then in the small forward position, we've got Haywood and Leonard. I don't know why Haywood shows as an 83 on the bench because whenever I put him into my lineup, he always goes back to his regular overall of 82. Although he hasn't this time around. Interesting. So I've got 83 overalls in a small four position. Then in the power four position, I've got Aldridge. Oh no, actually, 
<laughs> actually, Davis is my starting power forward. Aldridge is on the bench. And then in the center position, I have Wilt. So I've got a, some high overall front court players for my shooting lineup. And then finally, in the center position, I've got Jokic from the Halloween program. So I'm actually missing. I could have sworn that I had another shooting point guard, but I clearly do not. So what we're going to do is to round out our gameplay style lineups. So we're actually going to jump into the auction house and we're going to pick up a point guard right now. So we're going to limit it to point guard shooting and we're going to start at, let's say, 81 overall. I don't want to go crazy on the amount that I'm spending, especially given that it's a bench point guard. Um, and you know what? I just realized what happened. I did actually have Goran Dragic and I accidentally sold him. So that's why I no longer have a shooting bench player. So I may have to pick Dragic back up. Is there anyone else that I could pick up? Uh, I could possibly get that. Ooh, that Steve Francis looks nice. Too bad he's not in a Magic uniform. Uh, I would love it if he was in a Magic uniform. Who else is there? I'm not spending on that Derrick Rose, for, not for a bench position. Uh, what else? We've got IT. Might be Dragic at this point. Steve Nash. None of these are, uh, are calling out to me specifically. I might actually go that Steve Francis, to be honest. Uh, is there anyone else that I haven't seen yet? I'm going to keep scrolling through all these Dragic's. Looks like that's it. So I might actually, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to lock in Francis as my selection for the bench. So let's narrow it down. See if there are any cheaper versions. It's just the one. So let's just do that. Let's lock in. Go ahead and buy that. 90k and if we go back to my team he will be my my bench shooting uh shooting gameplay style point guard that's what i'm trying to get out so this if i can hit that back button this is what the sh yep he is shooting there we go everyone in that lineup is now shooting gameplay style so that's what my shooting gameplay style will look like. It's an 84 overall. So that's a, a, just a bit of an idea of what my lineups are gonna look like when the new gameplay style specific lineups are added to the game next week. I can't wait for that. Let's hit best lineup and see what we look like now. Uh, I am gonna swap out my point guard because I much prefer having Ben Simmons as my starting point guard, especially with his height. Uh, his height and steal, stealing ability, things like that are fantastic. So let's sub him in there. We will put Westbrook back on the bench. Obviously, he's a higher overall than Michael Carter-Williams. Any other swaps I'd like to make? Uh, I'm probably going to swap Giannis and Kawhi as well, actually. I prefer Kawhi's three-point shooting, and I use my shooting guard and my small forward predominantly to shoot threes. He's got much better outside shooting than Giannis, so let's put Giannis on the bench. Uh, I don't think I'm doing anything with my center and power forward positions because I've got my highest overall players in those positions. And then in turn, I think I'll leave Latrell Sprewell. I was enjoying using him uh, for a while. I might swap that back around to Clay, but for now I'll leave it as Sprewell. So that is what my current uh, lineup looks like. I will put Snyder back. I like playing as a defensive gameplay style. Uh, and he's got a coin bonus as well, I believe, which is nice. I'm not grinding showdown, so I don't need the fan bonus. So that is what my my uh, my team is currently looking like. Now let's jump into daily beats. If you saw my uh, preview on, oh the sidebar still is glitched out a little bit. That's weird. If you if you access daily beats from the home screen, you go straight to this screen here, and you would have seen this already if you saw my legends program overview, my sneak peek of that. So this is you still got your NBA Today stuff. You've still got your back button. has been super weird all of a sudden. You've still got your elevating your next gen content. And then of course, we've got our legends content here. We've got Sean Marion, Carl Malone and Tiny Archibald. Uh, I actually play, oh, I was gonna say, I actually played through the Marion on that uh, preview video. So I won't do that again, but it's locked currently anyway. It unlocks in two and three days by the looks of it. So we can only go through this Tiny Archibald, which is fine. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll play through these campaign events and now, if you haven't noticed, have a look in the top right. I've actually got a significant increase in the amount of stamina that my max is for my level. Before this maintenance, my max was like 256 or 200, oh, it was 257 because I'm level 57. So my max stamina has gone from 257 all the way up to 360. So we've actually had an increase 
uh, to the amount of stamina that your max is each level. So definitely let me know what level you are in the comment below, in the comments below, and also how much stamina you now have as your maximum for that level. I'm very curious. Let's focus up so we can get through this live event. This doesn't look too complex. Just got to avoid the moving zones, obviously. Find a little gap here and we'll dunk it to finish it off. So there is the first challenge done and we will earn ourselves an elite token for the first win on that. Now you do need 25 of these elite tokens for each of the different categories. So that was the team, I believe. This is the year and then there'll be the jersey number. So let's go ahead and earn ourselves our first year token for Tiny Archibald. So it's probably unrealistic to expect that you'll be able to grind for every one of these legends. But if you dedicate your time spamming the Blitz event, which we will look at in a, when I've done this as well, you should definitely be able to, in a couple of weeks, grind your way to a free 87 overall legend, which is really, really good. These specific events are 50 stamina each, but I believe that's because they're awarding an elite token as opposed to gold or silver tokens. I don't think that the Blitz event will be that much. I expect the Blitz event to be 20 stamina, 30, or it's 40 stamina. Um, so we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Let's, whoops, didn't want to do that. We'll, we'll finish the, uh, the this specific live event chain before we get through to the sets. So let's jump into the third one here. Let's earn here the first, oh, oh, this one's an avoid. I've done this one plenty, so I know what to do here. Uh, let's earn ourselves our first jersey number elite. Now we have to jump back on this side. Same thing, run across. As soon as that bar goes up, you just swap to the other side again, and then that should be enough. And that we should be able to stand here safely and the time should expire and we've completed that challenge. Definitely caught me off guard the first time I did that, but once I learned the pattern, it wasn't too tricky. So here is the jersey number. So we've got our first elite token for each of the three uh, different set slots, I guess you could call them. And now for the fourth and final set, set slot, we need that gold version of, hmm, pardon me, that gold version of Tiny Archibald. So we need to score two threes. So let's hit one here in the corner with Latrell Spreewell, splash that 20% release. And then we'll hit one more and we should be done. See if we can get a steal from Fox. Not to be, passes it away, come on. Oh, come on, stop teasing me with the passes. Give me that. Come on, Tiny. All right, we get the board. We're gonna kick it over to Kawhi. He's another elite three-point shooter in my lineup, and he should hit this, no worries, as well. Although we do brick it, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, oh, that was lucky. In trying to save the ball, the Kings actually sent it out of bounds, and so we get possession. We go back to Kawhi again. We'll run around back to this bottom corner. Actually, I probably could have passed that to Spreewell. He was open, but oh my gosh. Two 70% misses in a row. Of course this happens. As soon as I film, I always get more cheese when I'm filming content for you than when I'm just playing regularly. Oh, well, we will get a three. We've still got 30 seconds on the clock. We'll go back to Spreewell. He'll hit it, I'm sure. We're not going to miss three in a row. I'll be kind of triggered if we do miss three in a row. All right. We're going down to the bottom corner this time. Back to Spreewell. And bang, that should go in. Oh my gosh, three misses in a row, come on. EA, what are you doing to me? Come on, there's the ball. Surely this has to go in. They've all been open perfect releases too. There we go, with 8.2 seconds to spare. We finally complete that. So we've earned ourselves a 78 overall gold version of Tiny, and we're gonna chuck him into the set as well. So let's go and have a look at that. Let's hit add all items. So as you can see there, we need 24 more of the elite tokens. The quickest way to get them is buying from the store, but obviously that's gonna cost a significant amount of money. And I reckon the way that I'll be grinding for them is by going through and using these token exchanges. So the Blitz event, I believe, will reward these gold tokens, and you can use those gold tokens for elite wildcard tokens. And those elite wildcard tokens can be used in place of any of the elite tokens. So let's go back to Daily Beats, back into here. 
back into Legends and over here to the Legends Blitz, you do get a first win bonus as well. A little bit annoyed that the Blitz event is actually 40 stamina, to be honest. Um, it kind of feels like in one hand, EA are giving to us in that they're increasing the stamina cap per level, but in the other hand, they're taking away because to offset that, they're just increasing the stamina cost of challenges or live events. But kind of feels a little bit weird, um, but we'll see. Hopefully across the board, live event in, uh, prices don't increase. And we actually earn ourselves an elite token in that uh, first win pack. Let me know if you guys get an elite in that first win pack as well, or whether I just got super lucky without having done this event before. I have no idea. Uh, I wonder if it's possible to pull elite from this by chance as well. Let's just, we've got what, 40 stamina left. So let's jump into this and do it one more time. Let me know if you do actually, if you're grinding this, whether it is possible to pull an elite token or whether you can only get those gold tokens. I'm very curious. So there is another gold token guaranteed. Let's see if it is possible and whether we can get super, super lucky. I wouldn't expect it. Okay, so let's go back to sets and chuck in our, oh, wrong set. We need to go across to daily beats, chuck in our two gold tokens there, and then our, gee, what is this set? So this allows you, oh, this allows you to, to once again get a wildcard elite token by using two tokens that you might not be grinding for. So let's say that I wasn't grinding for this tiny archer bald, which I don't think I will be, to be honest. Uh, then you can jump across to here and you can chuck these tiny archibald tokens, hit claim, and it's going to unlock a or another elite wildcard token that you can use in any set. So I really like the fact that you can actually find a use for uh, legend tokens that you're not going to be grinding for that specific legend. I think that's great. Uh, so that's a bit of an overview. Uh, actually, I will just take a quick look here. I'll probably be grinding for Sean Marion initially, but we will wait and see what other legends come out as well. Currently, we've got that Dr. J in the store. He's a store only pack. I wonder if there's any up on the auction house yet. I will go and have a look. Uh, I believe there's going to be a Ray Allen as well. And then there'll be one more that we're not entirely sure of that will be released. Uh, in the store over the next three days. So you can actually sell your uh, your tiny if you don't want to use him, that's interesting. So that is, actually let's, let's see, let's just for fun, let's chuck him up for like 50K. Uh, tiny, we'll go 50K and 30K. And I'll, let's see if he sells, I have no idea, but there was only one up in the auction house. So we'll do that for fun. And that is it. That is this episode of Don't Mind the Grind. Thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future episodes.